Good evening, good evening. Hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Good evening, teacher. Oh, hi, how are you? Oh, pretty good. Oh, nice. Great to hear that. All right. Good evening, everybody. Sorry, I was having some little issues. All right. I hope everybody's okay. I hope everybody's fine. Welcome to our class number 20. This is our session number 20. Okay. See, the day out is still coincidence. It's the 20th of October. Okay, welcome. Okay. Let's start. Let's start having the session. The usual reminders from the program. Okay. Um, Let's see, first thing first, the attendance, the participation, the assignments and the permissions should be reminded at every single session. So the expected behavior in class as well. And of course, the objective. So we're explaining the relevance of an effective inventory management, designing a basic plan to organize an inventory management system and design a proposal to implement cycle scout programs. So this is something we're gonna do a little bit later and identify the main idea and key details in a passage about an inventory management crisis. All right, so we have a lot to discuss, a lot to talk, a lot to argue, and of course, I just want to start with this great image I just got about strategies for inventory management and forecasting, create a plan based on data and trends. That's something we discussed yesterday, probably to get the right numbers, okay, of quantity and stock, save this stock, have a small surplus to combat inventory issues, and batch tracking, allow a tracking scheme for all the products. All right, so definitely it's important to be tracking. All right, so before anything else, we're going to have the attendance, the first attendance of this session. Let's see, let me get the right spell sheet. All right, this is the one. Oh, by the way, as a reminder as well, uh, there are some people that are still behind on the platform. So please try to catch up, try to work and complete the exercises that you're supposed to have completed so far. Remember that next week we are completing session four and the final exam. So I bet before one or two classes last week, we must have completed everything. All right. So let's start, Abigail. Present teacher. Hello, Atilio Ernesto. Let me say that thing is not here. Apparently. Okay. I see. Elizabeth Stephanie. Present teacher. Good evening. Good and, evening. Hi. Emerson. Present. Thank you. Fernando wrote on the chat. Still at work. Thank you. 
Francisco Acuña. Somewhere there. Hazel Vanessa. Not here. Well, I don't recall listening to Hazel in a long time. So I don't know if she's still connecting. Let's see. Okay. Juan well, Antonio, neither. Julissa. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Wait a second. Next one is Luis Javier. Luis Javier, Luis Javier. Hello. No. <clears throat> Luis Miguel. No. Next one is Magdiel. No. Manuel. Present. Hello, good evening. Marilyn. Present, good evening. Good evening. Mario Ernesto. Present. Hello, good evening. Robert Saúl. Good evening, present teacher. Hello, good evening. Ronald Alexander. Present. Hello, good evening. Victor. Victor, Victor. No. Vidal. Nope. Wadir. Not tonight. The last one. Oh, sorry. Carlos Alberto. Present. Hello, good evening. All right. All right, all right. Okay, okay. So, as I was mentioning, we started this lesson yesterday. And let me check. Yeah. We started on the conversation on your manual right here, right? At the very end of the class, we were practicing a little bit of this conversation between Susan and Jorge, who are talking about basis on how to keep an organized inventory system. So they were saying, well, basically, George, I'm having a bad time with my business. So I need some advice about inventory management. And then, of course, this makes sense. Okay, I see you. Uh, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I see you keep I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized and venture management system is getting all of your products and vendors information in one place. I recommend you to do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Okay. So we're gonna be paying attention to some details in this conversation because this is 
what introduces the topic that we're going to study today. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now, you know, and look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately and in the right spots so that the employees can find them easily when they need it. Oh, when needed, sorry. Okay. As you may see. As you may see on this conversation, wait a second, I'm going to choose, I guess this one, it's okay. Yeah. I'm gonna choose this, the circle, those words that have been put in bold print for you to spot them easily. Okay, I think you already noticed that this world, I mean, that these words already have something in common that is Lee, consistently, properly, accurately, easily. Right. If you have studied a bit before, you noticed that these words are adverbs, right? So they are used to describe the way actions must be done according to the conversation or uh, should be done, right? I'm going to wait a minute. I think I'm going to... Um... I'm going to use this other function. I think I'm going to use this one to highlight. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business. So this is the problem. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business. I need some advice about inventory management. So, G. I mean, Jorge is just explaining what happened and what Susan says is, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, George. That's the first mistake. I see you keep notes of any scrap of paper. So if it is any piece of paper, any weird notebook, okay? So the information might not be organized, the information might be lost, right? So the first step, she continues, the first step is, so the first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all the products and vendor information in one place. So there must be an organized system, right? So a spreadsheet. I recommend you to use a spreadsheet and you know, this is the most efficient resource to record notes and information, mainly when we're talking about this type of um, inventory system, right? So you will keep notes and information there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. But he's just saying his notes, but it's relevant information about the products, quantity, numbers, uh, issue, expiration dates, and all that, right? So he's not being very smart with the information of the inventor. And then now you know, and look here, 
the labels are falling off the packages. So there's another problem. What's happening? The labels. So these labels with important information from the packages are falling off. So they are not well pasted. And then she says, by labeling inventory properly, so you should label inventory properly. So by labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find the products easily when needed, okay? So as you see, this conversation, besides giving suggestions, besides giving advice on how to manage inventory efficiently, the introduction of adverse it's also very obvious. So because yesterday you probably didn't have much time to practice the conversation, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to try to practice it. Okay? So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes for you to try to practice it. And probably we're not going to create a similar conversation because we don't have, let's say, much information on how to manage an inventory system. But we're going to retell or report what we understood from the conversation. We're going to say, all right, what I understood from this conversation, or I think this conversation is about this and this and this. Well, what's happening in the conversation is this and this and this. So you're going to be reading, practicing, and then reporting and retelling. Mm -hmm. All right. Give you a couple of minutes for you to work on that.
Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. And you want to practice the conversation? Okay. Okay. Um, okay. You you go first. Okay. Yes. Wait. I have some problem with my computer. Mm. Mm. Thank, thank you, Maria. Oh, thanks. Okay, um, I'm George. Okay, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep notes on any scrap of paper, Jorge. The first step of implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record notes there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. Now you know. And look here, the labels are falling off the packages. By leveling inventory properly, you ensure that your products get stored accurately in the right spots so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, now maybe, okay. Magdiel and uh, anyone else want to practice? Okay, thank you, I'm ready. Okay, it will be Jorge. Um, I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep not on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of uh, your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this uh, this in a spreadsheet and record not there consistently. Sure, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. No, you know. And look, look here. The levels. The levels are falling off their packages. By leveling inventory properly, properly, you ensure that your product gets stored currently in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. 
switch switch roles, please. And now I'm George. I can be Susan now. Okay. I'm having a bad time with my business, Susan. I need some advice about inventory management. Okay, I see you keep note on any scrap of paper, George. The first step to implement an organized inventory management system is getting all of your product and vendor information in one place. I recommend you do this in a spreadsheet and record note there consistently. Sir, I can do that. I didn't really give much attention to my notes. No, you know, and look, here's the labor are falling out of the package. By lab labeling inventory properly, you ensure that your product get accurately in the right spot so that your employees can find them easily when needed. Okay, perfect. What do you think uh, about the first question? Well, about the first question, uh, well, what are some of Jorge's bad practices in battery management? Well, Jorge doesn't take notes about it. And also, I think they're not using a, a system or a process to getting all in order, all their inventory.
Well, we noticed that through the conversation, there are some sentences in which there are these words. Okay, these words are called adverbs. They have been introduced through this conversation. So they say the way actions are done. So uh, an adverb usually describes an action. Right, I just wanted to emphasize that. So now let's let's go on. Let me just move. Okay, this is the introduction as well through the chart. Okay, now in a structured way, they present how to use adverbs of qual. I mean to qualify verbs. Okay. Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Let me, let me read this. Okay. Use adverbs to communicate where, when, why, how, how, and how much, or to what degree they qualify the actions and the claims we make. Organize your inventory efficiently. Usually, uh, another ends in the word or in the syllable li because they come from an, from an adjective and by adding the word okay by adding the extra syllable or the suffix li we make from an adjective into an adverb so record information accurately check the possible improvement consistently Revise processes slowly. Communicate with your distributor regularly. Check your inventory practices incrementally. So you see, many adverbs are created by putting the by putting together an adjective and adding the suffix li. Efficient, efficiently. Accurate, accurately. Consistent, consistently. Right. So that's how we form the, the adverbs from an adjective, all right? To practice this a little bit before we work on the exercises from the manual, I'm gonna share some exercises with you. Okay, this, let me see. Okay, I think this one, it's better. Okay, we're gonna work on this first and then we're gonna work on, on another exercise. Let me just check right here. In any case, you work on the version of the quiz, okay? So, okay. And for you to have it as a reference, this is the way the exercise looks, right? So you have to choose the right answer, okay? I'm gonna give you a couple of minutes for you to work. Then of course, we're going to compare.
I, and I and I can come back. Ah, there is the teacher. Teacher, can you share with us again the, the link, please? Sure. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, we we take a few uh, a couple of minutes to to complete to complete it. I think so. Okay.
Do you finish? Yes. Okay. 10 out of 12. Uh -huh. uh, how many do you have? How much? Only 10. We're good. Oh, okay. Okay. What about you? 11. Oh wow! <laughs> uh huh. But I, 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 I had grown uh, one, uh, because I, I, uh, I confused. Uh, I have, and because there are some, some, uh, some expressions, expressions that are tricky, that that are very, some, uh, some ones are very easy, are very easy to identify. The uh, what is the correct one, but uh, uh, another ones, uh, I don't know. Uh, Uh, in your case, but I guess someone um, that, that are tricky. Yeah, well, actually, in my case, I was around the uh, the number nine. The total is a very, I I select slowly animal, but it's uh, slow. Aha, uh aha, -huh, uh -huh, because sometimes aha uh -huh, are not very very clear to identify. And the first one, this exercise to practice adverbs of manners is not very and I select easily and it was easy. Easy. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, with with this because because I remember that uh, that there are a few of sentences with easy and easily and, and load and loadly. I think that uh, this is uh, the more tricky. Yeah they're a little confusing. Uh-huh okay yeah So let me see. Aha. Okay, everyone finished, right? Let's see. Yes. yes. Nice. All right, my fellow drives. Which is the correct other. Carefully. Carefully. Yes. Marcos is a very good. Uh huh. Because it's not describing an action, it's describing a person, right? He's a very good student. So if we're describing a person, we're describing something, then we need an adjective, not an adverb. All right. It is so because. Oh, happy. <laughs> yeah, when I is so happy because she's always because she always passes her exams with flying colors. All right. And that is a very uh Sandra is a very quiet person. It's a very quiet person. Mm-hmm. My friends and I have to go quickly. Quickly, okay, because catch now it's describing time. an action to catch the train. Mm. Mm. People have to speak quietly. Quietly in the library. The house was so loud. Loud because it's just describing the sound, not an action. Mm -hmm. Don't speak so loudly. 
loudly. I can hear you very well. Mm -hmm. And the turtle is a very slow animal. Slow animal. That's right. And my best friend Douglas can do math exercises very easily. Mm -hmm. Because describing the way he does the exercises. Right. Teacher, it should be his lunch. Quickly. Quickly. Because he has classes of work. This exercise to practice adverse of manners is not very easy. Easy. Okay. Done. All right. Well, in English, practicing when to use an adverb, when to use an adjective, it's a very, let's say, common structure it's a, it's a basic well not that basic but intermediate let's say yeah so we should know when to use another when to use an adjective okay or well, what things should be described with an adjective and what things should be described definitely verse the actions the way actions are done are described with adverbs and objects, pronouns, nouns, places, animals are described with adjectives. And of course, uh, an adverb is made from an adjective by adding the suffix li. So this is another exercise I'm gonna share with you. Yeah, definitely, you gotta take your time to work on it. And this is a little bit longer. So let me just put it right here. This was just a warm up.
All right. I think everyone is done. The president helps the people of all races will live together. What do we need? An advert or an adjective? Peaceful mm -hmm. is an adjective, so we we'll need an adverb. So it will be peacefully. Mm -hmm. Okay, she told us that the streets in the capital city were. What do we need? An adverb or an adjective? Dirty. So that is an adjective. I don't know what this. Okay. An adjective for an adjective plus. All right, so we're going to skip that one. Okay. And dirty and ugly. Definitely, that's an adjective as well. Do you think nuclear energy is safe? So that is an adjective. Okay. I get all the food. I get all the food directly from the farmers. So that's another. Then the minister was deeply worried that the deal would not pass parliament. All right, in this case, we need an adverb to modify an adjective. So that's why it says deeply worrying. Mary drove home from the party as fast as she could. Fast in this case is an adverb. And got there safe. Safely. That they're safely, so this would be another. Uh, when the director found out about the scandal, she shouted, angry, angrily, sorry, shouted angrily as his employees. So this is another. The old woman walked across the street very carefully. Very carefully. So this is an adverb. She didn't see me. She knocked. Sorry, sorry, sorry. She didn't see me. She knocked. Mm -hmm me down with her brand new car. She nearly, nearly knocked me down. So that would be another with her brand new car. The other one is after a few weeks, people forgot about him completely. Completely, that's an adverb. Worse anymore because he already has enough money. It hardly works. Anymore because he has enough money, that would be an adverb. She climbed down from the tree as soon as the bird had disappeared, slowly. Mm 
Okay, another. It is very volleyball player. He's a very good volleyball player. So this is an adjective. Bob excuse himself politely. Politely. Lightly, sorry. And when home, that's an adverb. English is an easy language to learn. Okay. However, we couldn't learn grammar easily. Grammar rules easily. So first one is an additive easy language to learn. So is really that would be an adverb. Mm -hmm. The sun shine bright in the sky. I think this is an adverb and it's the same. The new colleague seems to be Highly intelligent. Okay, and that's where to describe an adjective. And the boy felt guilty because he knew what he had done. All right. That would be an adjective. Well, the third category was just to classify if the adjective was describing a noun or if the other was describing a word, or if the adjective, or if the other was describing another adjective. Okay. So that's why we skip that part. All right. Let me just find out about something. Mm -hmm. If you were just interested, probably just by clicking on this other one. Yeah, if we know what they are describing, then we would have gotten them correct, but we didn't click on them. Okay. Well, besides all this practice of making Adverse from adjectives by adding the suffix ly. You know, there are some exceptions as fast, bright, that don't change. The same adjective is an adverb. The only thing that changes is what they are describing. If they are describing an, uh, a noun or a pronoun, then they are adjectives. But if they are describing adjectives or adverse or verse, so they are adverse. All right. Besides that, we still have this exercise. Label the description with the name on the steps to organize an inventory management system. We have five steps. Organize products and vendor information. Create and submit accurate purchase orders. Receive inventory with a speeding accuracy. Tag on labels inventory. Record your sales. You want to record what products were sold what the products listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. Get all of your products and vendor information organized in one place, product information, description, and shipping info includes as well as the business name and business contact info. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about a product's price. If there's a difference between the orders you submitted and the actual inventory delivered, grab a copy of your purchase orders to create and catalog all the new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchases accurate and avoid confusion. So I just read them, but take your time. 
read them carefully and you can match. So we're going to be matching the steps and the descriptions. All right, just a couple of minutes. All right, so let's say this is number one, number two, and so forth. So you want to record what product was sold, what the product's listed price is, discounts, and what price was actually paid for the product. What is the step? Record your sales. That would be record your sales, definitely. All right, so we're going to put number one right here so we don't have to be rewriting everything, okay? So get all of your products and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information, description, and shipping info include as well as the business name and business contact info. What is that? What is this product and vendor information? Yes, definitely here will be number two. Okay. Do this to your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about a product's price. Tag and label inventory. 
that will be labeled. Uh -huh. They won't be confused because they know, right? If there is a difference between the order use of meeting and the actual inventory, leave or grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all the new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. Create and submit accurate purchase orders. That should be created and submit accurate purchase orders. Just look at the next one. Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchase accurate and avoid confusion. So which one should be number four and number five? So, okay, number the that one number four is receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Uh -huh. This one should be this one, and create and submit accurate purchase order should be five. Right. Okay. Good. 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 Well, it's a matter of time now. Let's have. Attendance for the second time. My goodness. Well, let's do it from here. Abigail, Atilio, Elizabeth, present. Emerson, present. Fernando, Francisco, Hazel. Julissa, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, Martiel, Present, Manuel, Present. Marilyn, Mario Ernesto, Roberto, Ronald, Victor, Present. Vidal, Present, Walid, Present. Uh, Carlos. Present. Everyone tired? <laughs> no. Okay. All right. Two more presents on the chat. Okay. Thank you very much for attending. Have a wonderful weekend. Try to rest. And I'll see you on Monday for the last week. See you Monday, teacher. Good night.